Hello and welcome to another Popper video. Today we're playing Blue White Familiars. Been having some medium success with Blue White Familiars lately, and I decided I wanted to play my super awesome cantrip version with seven cantrips and two Murmuring Mystic. Because in my mind, this deck is the best Murmuring Mystic deck that there is in the format. We're going to be spitting out birds like crazy. We have so many one drops, and then we have Meeting of Minds for zero mana. And then we have counter spells to stop our opponent from doing what they're doing. We really don't care about aggro quite as much because we're going to find our faithfuls fast. We're going to find our murmuring mystics fast with the cantrips. And then we have our huge draw power of Muldrifter and three Lorien reveals. In the sideboard, we have a little bit of one offs with last breath and circle of protection. And then two excludes for monarch decks, initiative decks, and negate for counter spell decks. We have two Dust to Dust and two Nature's Chant for the Glitters decks and five Hydroblast effects for the red decks. This is pretty straightforward, but it is a blast to play when we start spewing out birds. So if you are happy to support, make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment, let me know what you thought. Make sure to check out the Patreon if you want sideboard guys for familiars. And, oh, I should probably move over the sideboard so you can actually see it, my bad. Check out the sideboard guides on the Patreon, and then check out page, uh, Pondering Popper, which will be linked in the description below as well. That's a podcast that I've been doing, trying to put it out weekly. And that's enough for me. Let's get into the matches. Okay, match one versus Ritual Cinco is Pole, who is generally a Turbo Fog player. We don't really want Faithfuls versus Fog, but we have more Meeting of Minds and more Trey Myers, so I think this is probably a keep, actually. They're scarying. They're on Turbo, Fog, Poison, Storm. Poison Storm, I guess. Poison Storm is going to be a lot harder for me to deal with, probably. Play Chancery. Pass the turn. Pick up the Island and discard the Faithful. Okay. They've got a Chancery of their own. Play Faithful. Can play the Island and pass the turn. I guess it depends what they're doing. I might want to just snap the Faithful and then play a Moldrifter. They've got an experimental augury. Play a lonely sandbar. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go with snap this. Don't really need the life gain. Untap and play the mole drifter, and we'll pass the turn. They play contentious plan. That's it. Looks like. I'm gonna start by attacking. Then just ephemerate the mole drifter. Draw two cards. No counterspell from the opponent. Let's play Arcane Answer, getting back the snap. The Arcane Denial. But we do have the Mortuary Mire. I'm going to draw the two cards. I'm looking to draw into Familiars and the Murmuring Mystic, of course. To play a Eureka Moment. To put in a Simic Growth Chamber so they can pick up a land. I'm going to cycle the Lonely Sandbar. They foretell a card. Okay, so this is. Maybe Turbo Fog with the Scaries, but maybe it's like Turbo Fog plus Poison Storm. It's I'm just confused. I'm gonna ephemerate this Mold Drifter. Um, I'm looking for a familiar, right? So let's lead on Ponder. Not find it. Find a Mold Drifter. Let's just play out the Mold Drifter. Well, I guess I can go Faithful. Doesn't really do anything, but it does help me cast Medium Mines. Or I can Arcane Answer, get back the Ephemerate, then just Ephemerate for two cards here. Pass the turn. Discard some Faithfuls. The Plains, the Tap Land, and the Lorien Revealed. Our opponent plays another Scary, cycles the Lonely Sandbar, plays a Vivisurgeon's Insight. They're drawing a ton of cards. They get the mana back. Every land taps for two. They play an Explorer. Plays a Hickory Woodlot. Definitely a neat deck. So we're going to now Ephemerate the Arcane Answer. We're looking for counter spells so we can counter spell their uh, Poison Storm stuff. Ponder again, looking for a familiar. Find Mystic. I'm definitely keeping that. No shuffle. And then I'll attack for two. We'll go land. Play Murmuring Mystic. We're going to ephemerate the Arcane Answer for the Ponder. And continue looking for uh, a familiar. We can also cast Meaning of Minds, but we probably want to do that on their turn. 
shuffle again. Let's pass. They're going to cast Behold the Multiverse, so they're looking for their counter, their uh, poison spell. They go top. They go two on the bottom. Plays another Behold the Multiverse. Just going to let that resolve. I mean, I can't do anything else. They bottom and top. Plays an Explorer. Plays a land. Four mana. Plays an Experimental Augury. They're still looking for their poison spell. Seems like if they're on all these land drops, maybe they should be on snaps too. They weather the storm for a billion million. We're going to just go ahead and make some birds. Draw some cards. Okay. We draw a Faithful and a Preordain. And Ephemerate the Arcane Answer and make a bird. They're at 31 right now. There's a Familiar. So maybe I want to Ephemerate for Snap. Let's play the Familiar. And then I can Meeting of Minds. Okay, Cycle. Or an island or a plains. Play the plains. Now I can hold up my counter spells and attack. And I think I'm gonna discard the faithful and the ash barons. Faithful ash barons. Okay. So do I want to fight over their card draw? Nah. Sure. Go ahead and draw cards. <laughs> Plays a contentious plan. Okay. That's it apparently. Let's ephemerate the Mole Drifter for cards. We're looking to get our infinite flicker combo. Find a snap. Okay. They're going to discard some cards here. Discarding moments pieces. We'll ephemerate the, the Arcane Answer. I guess at this point I do want to start countering their card draw spells. Because if they have all these moments pieces lined up... Hmm. Let's preordain looking for a familiar. Or more counter spells. More preordains I don't think I need. Preordain again. Okay, there's the flicker and the murmuring mystic. So we actually have infinite birds now. Put the flicker, put the murmuring mystic on top, the flicker on top. We can ephemerate the mole drifter. They have a lot of mana. Kind of scaring me. Hmm. And mortuary mire. Get back an Arcane Answer, and then Arcane Answer, back Meeting of Minds, and we'll attack. I have the Flicker in hand, so I can't mill out, but we do have to not die. They're going to play Respite. Fine. I want to know what your win condition is. <laughs> is it Weather the Storm? Sure. Maybe I shouldn't F6 here. Oh, well, they just played two weather storms. Many, many weathers. What do we want to discard? Land and land and Florian revealed. Keep analysis themselves. Okay. Keep analysis again. Explore. Bring some lands. There's an experimental augury. They're running out of blue mana available. I don't know if they have like a way to loop their deck at all. Okay, let's meeting minds. Then I guess we're going to start countering their uh, fogs and stuff. Okay, I have to not time out. It's going to be tough. Back the ephemerate. Then I'm going to attack with everything. They're just taking it, okay. We're going to play the chancery picking up the planes, so I have more blue mana. Play a murmuring mystic. I'm going to ephemerate the Arcane Answer, get back a snap, snap a bird. So we're still up on birds, and now we're up on blue mana as well. Okay, your turn. I'll discard the planes. Now I just want to counter their big card draw spells and then counter lock them for the rest of the game. Five mana. Or in revealed, we're going to counter. I play an experiment to augury, that doesn't matter. There's a prologue. Okay. Arcane Denial on what? Their own Lorien Revealed. Okay. Plays Insight. We're going to Ephemerate Arcane Answer. Let's get back to Counterspell. So if they Arcane Denial their thing now, counter the thing. Oh, God. They're going to Arcane Denial their own thing. All right. So, all right. Let's see if we can not time out. 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23. Okay, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We have 27. We're going to flicker these. That's 28, 29. Sucks. Thank you very much. That was really nice of you. <sighs> okay, so we have to bring in the negates. Exclude not very good in this position. What can we do? Faithful is going to come out. Is there any chance that nature's chant is useful? Probably better than if... Maybe not. Let's just submit. Okay, post board. I mean, we have Drifter Ephemerate. We have a Faithful that we can play. Because we can use that for Meeting of Minds. Let's lead on Ponder. Caimancer. Well, we kind of want the Mortuary Mire, but maybe not just yet. It seems like they're not milling us, right? So, if we just take the Preordain. No Shuffle. And then Shuffle on my Upkeep. They foretell a card, play the Simic Growth Chamber, pick up their depletion land. We're going to cycle for a Plains, and then play Island and Preordain. Flicker Drifter. I don't think we need the Flicker. I'll take the Drifter, though. They play the depletion land again. My turn. I'm going to turn off my upkeep stop. And play out the Plains. Faithful. Go ahead. I feel like trying to pinch them on mana, given that they have all these bounce lands and stuff, it's not going to do anything, so it's probably not worth it. So, in Preordain here, kind of looking for a bounce land still. Okay, Familiar is good. Uh, top, top, they land. I wonder if I should just evoke a Molt Drifter. I think I'll evoke a Molt Drifter. Double Tham, okay. Pretty solid. Let's see if I can draw another land. Then I can go Familiar plus Counterspell plus Negate. Let's see if they have the Prologue. They don't. They're going to be Hold. And there's the Prologue. That's not good. Certainly bad for me right now. But I could still lock them out. Play the land. I can't really afford to cast a 5 drop here. Do I draw a land? That's my question. Discards a Moments piece. Play a Familiar. Go ahead and snap on the Faithful. Untap. Play another Familiar. And I have to pass. Because next turn my plan is to Drift or Ephemerate. But not making a land drop there is really bad. Okay, I'm going to counter this. Yeah, let's just counter. Evoke the Mole Drifter. And then I'm looking for untapped lands. Looks like I'm not going to find it. <laughs> Uh, ephemerate the Drifter. No counter from our opponent. Okay. So let's just play the Broker's Hideout since we're not really doing anything else. Grabbing an island. So we have Ephemerate and double counter. We're going to counter pretty much any proliferation right now, I think. We have six cards in hand, though. It's definitely tough. I think I just need to focus on stopping them from getting card advantage. All right, let's cycle for an island. We don't have that many lands left. Let's draw for turn, and then draw, well, Ephemerate first, obviously. Come on, clicked it, there we go. Wait, um, play a land, play the Mancer, get back the Ephemerate, very macabre. Okay, not great. Do I wanna do anything? Let's get back the Ponder. Then ponder, see if I can find a flicker or something. Okay, so I found the Ephemerate and the Murmuring Mystic. And I'm going to just go ahead and discard a Familiar, I think, or the Faithful. Let's discard the Faithful. It's too many triggers. I guess Faithful and Familiar. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to be able to get a clock going. Let's Counterspell. The Arcane Denial. We're going to Ephemerate. So they have to use their scary and kill it. Get back the counter spell. Now they've got a lot more stuff. We're going to draw two cards. Losing the ephemerate is not great. Also losing the negate was kind of sad. They're on two poison. Yeah, we're going to draw the two cards. Nap and Mermaid Mystic. We're going to ephemerate. Arcane Answer. Get back the ephemerate. Play my Murmuring Mystic. 
yeah, I'll play it this way. Mystic. And then all its meaning of mines. So we're gonna start pumping out some stuff. They can't weather this turn. Evoke a mole drifter. Nap the mole drifter. Okay. Tap these things. Alright, we'll play the island. Now we have double counter spell and ephemerate. So I can just attack and chill, I guess. To discard three cards, so I'm gonna discard Familiar, Orion, and a Preordain. And then my plan is to cycle the Lorien Revealed for another island, most likely. They've got eight cards in hand. I guess I could just Ephemerate for Meaning of Mines. Ephemerate. Grab Meaning of Mines. We still have Double Counter Spell. I mean, they could have another Macabre, but it looks like they don't right now. Let's draw two cards. We Your mana draw two. We found a land. Not a great land. Let's cycle. Can't kill me this turn, I don't think. Grabbing an untapped land. Draw for turn. Okay, never mind. Okay, so ephemerate. Back the ephemerate. Okay. Found the flicker. Play the island. We can attack with everything. And then I guess just Arcane Answer getting back snap. Game Answer. Get back the meaning mines. Goes. Counter spell the arcane denial. Another arcane denial. Counter spell the arcane denial. Another arcane denial. Okay, that's not good. I'm gonna draw a bunch of cards. I'm going to ephemerate the arcane answer. Oh no, I messed that up. Darn it. What did they counter spell? The arcane denial my um mancer. Interesting. Let's get back to this meeting of minds. We're going to lose the Arcane Denial draw. I don't know what's happening here. I'm not sure I can lose on their turn. They're going to weather for a million billion. Okay. We will draw two cards. They get to draw one card. And they get to go to five cards in hand now. We have Snap and Counterspell. <coughs> Experimental Augury. Okay. As a contentious plan. We're at four poison. Seems to be really into this deck. Is deep analysis okay? Analysis again. Sure. We can make infinite birds now. Three mana. Contentious plan. I think now I can just snap a bird. Okay, untap, untap. Make infinite birds. So we'll have 30 some major number of birds, and then we can just counterspell. Okay, so he forgot that I had combo. GG. GG's. Alright. He said that he's gotten a few 4-1s. I want to see the deck pretty soon. <laughs> Alright, see you in the next match. We're actually going to pause, get some sleep, and then go to the next match. Okay, we're here in round 2 versus the Real Julys. I like my hand. I'm going to keep it. Play the island, and they think I'm going to pass. And then we can go turn to Faithful Ponder, or just see what happens. Land, go. Silver Bluff Bridge. They're probably on some sort of affinity. It could be on Jessica Ephemerate. Let's grab our planes. Usually Silver Bluff Bridge kind of means Jessica Ephemerate. Go Faithful and Ponder. Next turn we can cast medium mines. Uh faithful, familiar. I'm not gonna shuffle. So we're gonna draw the ephemerate that I like. Alright. Play the land and yield. Let's see what happens. They are on Jeskai Ephemerate. So now we have to do our best here. Okay, they're passing. We're gonna play familiar or faithful. Play the Chancery. I'm gonna pass, picking up the planes. Just still holding up the meaning of mines. And we're looking to draw into other ways of card advantage, but we have to kind of sneak the meaning of mines through them so that they don't have an ephemerate. We're gonna cleansing wildfire. Okay. I mean that they don't have a counter spell. Cleansing wildfire is not great for me. I guess I could just play out the familiar and then let it get countered and then cast medium mines. 
Okay, let's play the familiar. Go for counterspell. All right, and now we have Drifter Ephemerate, so that's good. Snap the Faithful, untap, and evoke a Drifter. So we were patient, and patience was very, very key here. Going to draw me four cards, potentially six, but I assume that they're going to have some sort of removal spell. We're going to yield to that and Ephemerate. We're back up to six cards in hand. Unfortunately, none of them are super good. No attacks with the Faithful, that's for sure. See what our opponent's follow up is. Three mana, four mana. They're just gonna hard cast a mole drifter? That's awesome for me. What a huge turn of events. They did not have a removal spell. I'm going to ephemerate the mole drifter. Another two cards. Let's play Faithful, Beardain, Counter Spell, and Snap. So we could snap their. Their mole drifter and then counter it on the way back. I still think the second snap is not that good. Bottom, top this one. Play the chancery. Pick up the planes. Snap the mole drifter. We'll untap. And then I think I'm going to preordain here. We can cast meaning of minds with the planes, the white mana from the chancery. Warrior Revealed and a Ponder. I think both of these are good. Let's put the Warrior Revealed on top in case they wildfire us for some reason. And pass. They play a land. So are they going to hard cast the Mole Drifter? We're going to cast Meeting of Minds. One. And then tap all of our creatures. We have Counterspell open to protect it. I also have Flicker. Draw two. Okay, we get Cycle for an Island. Pretty behind on clock because my computer's kind of lagging. Uh, let's ponder. Looking for counter spells and card advantage. Army Mystic's pretty solid. I feel like the familiar here. I feel like it's just going to get countered or bolted. Take the familiar anyway. Lay out the familiar. See if they want to counter it. They don't. I'll play another island. Go ahead and attack. So now I am insulated against a removal spell with my flicker. I've got my big draw spell in hand with the Lorien Revealed. I have a counter spell for their Mole Drifter. Assuming they hard cast it. I don't think I would counter it if they just evoke it. Evokes the Mole Drifter. Um, okay, I take it back. Let's just counter. We are trading up on mana and stopping them from getting cards. They don't counter back. They cycle a Lorien Revealed. Well, they play the land. Plays an island. Okay. So I think I'm going to just play out the Murmuring Mystic here. They haven't had counter spells for the other turns. Now that I have a counter spell, Ponder, an Arcane Answer. I'll put the Baroker's Hideout underneath it. Question is whether or not they have another counter spell. Play this island. Let's start with attacking. They've used two counter spells so far, so I guess it's not that likely that they have another one in hand. Plays a land, five cards in hand. Plays an Archaeum answer. Okay. What are they gonna get back? It's back counter spell. I'm gonna try to flicker. See what they do. The counter spell. So they're holding counter spell still. So I can go for a Lauren Revealed. And then they'll probably counter. Okay. And then now I can just <clears throat> let the brokers hide out. And then Arcane Answer back. The Ephemerate and Ephemerate the Mole Drifter. Grabbing the island just to get that top card of my deck moved away. The island. Oh my god, my computer's very slow right now. Uh screwed that up. Oh well. Guess we're not going to get in for damage this turn. <laughs> uh, ephemerate. I guess I could also just ephemerate and get back meeting of mines. That way I can get in damage. It's the same. Meeting of mines. That's the meeting of mines. All right. We're going to draw some cards. And we're going to attack. Bam. With the second arcane answer here, if they don't have a removal spell or a counter spell, then I can. Ephemerate and get back the Ghosty Flicker, and then it'll be the game. 
They've used three counter spells. Be unlikely for them to have a fourth, but they could have a fourth. Plays a Moldrifter. Seed of the Synod is weird. Plays Augur of Bolas. Feeling a counter spell. Okay, so that's their last counter spell that's in their deck. We're going to do Ephemerate the Archaeum answer. I guess get back counter spell. Becker counter spell here. And I'll play a land. Play our cam answer. All right. And get back Ghosty Flicker. Because Ghosty Flicker can get back the Ephemerate. We're going to Ghosty Flicker here. They scoop it up. All right. Okay, so we know we want the negates. We know we want the excludes. We don't really care about the faithfuls. We don't really care about Darmoring or Cleric. We can get rid of one Murmuring Mystic and two Snaps. Bring in four Hydroblast. One Murmuring Mystic is fine. We are looking at a very unplayable hand with just one Plains. And we can't keep this one either. We're going to keep this hand. Put back the Chancery and the Snap. And we're going to Preordain looking for a Hydroblast. Or any other Counterspell type effect, probably. Another Plains is not really where I wanted to be. Uh, bottom this, top the preordain. Our opponent untaps, plays a tap land, and a preordain. So we're just going to try to make land drops, be on time with them, but Hydroblast would be really good. Let's preordain again. There's a Hydroblast and a preordain. Okay, I feel pretty good now. Play a land, pass the turn, play a land, preordain. Passing the turn, okay. Everybody's just cantripping. Let's cantrip again. I like these cards. Play my planes, and I will pass. They're cycling the Loring Revealed for a Glacial Floodplain. So that gives them the ability to get the uh, Drifter Ephemerate going. They play an Augur of Bullis. Finds a Destroy Evil, which can be used to kill the Murmuring Mystic. But not much else right now. Draw our Ephemerate. So let's play out the Familiar. They have a Counterspell, they have a Counterspell. Seems like they don't. Plays the Floodplain. We're going to Hydroblast the Lightning Bolt. So I guess best case scenario, they Counterspell the Hydroblast. And then we can Drifter Ephemerate. Okay, great. So I probably don't need to cycle the Lorien Revealed here. I think they're just getting sucked into getting rid of my familiars, but letting me Drifter Ephemerate, which is kind of busted. All right. They used one removal spell so far, so will they have another one? Here comes the Drifter. Like, best case, we draw a Hydroblast now so we can stop a removal spell. Did not find it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and Broker's Hideout for an island. Just thinning the deck, trying to not draw lands. And I guess it's your turn. Last time we went Drifter Ephemerate, they just didn't have a follow-up, so maybe that'll happen again. <laughs> okay, they have the Bolt. Or it's a Galvanic Blast. Interesting. It's in. So should we just jam another Moldrifter? They're holding three cards. Our Ephemerate goes away. They didn't counterspell the Familiar. Here's another Familiar. Okay. Let's play Fam. Play my Zorius Chancery. Pick up the the planes. I mean, maybe that was not a great idea. I mean, I'm, I def definitely am exposing the Zorius Chancery to a wildfire here, which isn't great. They're tapping for a Moldrifter. I will go Medium Mines. We drew the Exclude, but I can't cast it. We draw two cards. Okay, so they're going to get in for one. We definitely gave them that opening, but... I wanted to make sure I resolve some of my um, card draw. Okay. Um, they land. Two, three, four. I'm going to have a meeting of minds here. See what happens. Okay. That's cool. So we have Moldrifter and Counterspell now, as well as Exclude for their big creature. They Cleansing Wildfire their own bridge. I feel like I can't uh, do anything about that. I'm just going to let it go. It's just interesting to me that they're on uh, Galvanic Blast here. Preordain for the opponent. Probably going to cycle for an island. 
using the Ash Barons, and then try to resolve the Mole Drifter. Play a Rust Veil Bridge. They've got four cards in hand. Can get in for three. Okay. Cycle for an island. I'll grab my island. Okay, so we got four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Let's try a Mole Drifter. That resolves. What is going on over there? All right, let's pass. I'm going to discard the Chancery here. I know I need the more blue mana, but I don't want more Wildfire targets available. So we have... Okay, they're going to Wildfire their bridge. That's really kind of them to not Wildfire me. Four cards in hand. They say they want to trade. Kind of odd, but okay, I'll trade. Now they could have the um, four mana white spell that returns it to the table. Dawnbringer Cleric. Yeah, that is that fine? They're going to get rid of what do I have in the graveyard. Then rates exiled. I think that's fine. It's rid of a mole drifter. Sure. Hmm, okay. We're going to ponder. All right, Hydroblast, Meeting of Minds, ponder. So I'll take the Hydroblast and the ponder, the Meeting of Minds, and then. So I'm just taking the Meeting of Minds here. I'm going to cycle for an island. Then I can preordain. Then I can uh, Meeting of Minds on their end step. Refound the Hydroblast. So let's bottom top the Hydroblast. Just say go. Okay. I mean, we're just chilling behind the familiar, not doing anything, but I've got a lot of interaction. They get in for two, so it'll be one. They're just going to block randomly. Four cards in hand. They've got a ton of mana. Way more mana than me. Making a big creature spell, it looks like. Lorien Revealed, actually. Let's counterspell the Lorien Revealed. So... They are just not going to respond. Okay. Meaning Minds. They're going to Ephemerate. I'll Counterspell the Ephemerate. Because that's really a draw to. Counterspell the Counterspell. They're going to Ephemerate. So they're hopefully just Whiff. Reveals a Preordain. Find Counterspell and Sunscape Familiar. Awesome. And an Archaeomancer. Okay, so... Play Familiar. Play my Land. Draw three cards with the Lorien Revealed. Find and negate. It's Archaeum Answer getting back the Lorien Revealed. And then I can pass the turn. Now if I find the Murmuring Mystic, we have Infinite Birdies. And uh, we have lots and lots and lots of counter spells. <laughs> <coughs> they are going to Ephemerate the Augur. I have to just kind of hope that they get, get a bad rip on there. I only have three counters available. They reveal a Red Blast. Play Murmuring Mystic. That actually... I mean, I don't think that matters. Let's go Exclude. It'd be nice to get this Exclude off, I guess. Then I can Hydro Blast the Red Blast. I know they have a Preordain left in their hand, so they don't probably have two interactions. Counter that. We're going to get our two-for-one here. Draw a card. Find a Familiar. We play a Preordain. I'm just going to Negate. It looks like no attacks for our opponent. And they scoop it up. Sweet. Go to round three. Okay, round three versus Albertor. Don't know what they're up to. We have a pretty solid start. We have Land Ponder. Opponent gives us the good luck, have fun. That's kind of you. Go. Okay, uh, shuffle. Yeah, I don't think I need three lands. Oh, man. Rift Sower, what is happening? Oh, it's walls, right? It means walls. Let's cycle this for an island. Play the island. And then preordain. We're looking to counterspell them out. I think I can take both of these. Okay, they have a counter come off. Plays a land. Plays a wall of roots. And Arachi Leaf Collar. Um Okay, I'll play the planes. Pass the turn. I don't think I care about the the rift sower because it only just casts. It makes one random mana, but that doesn't add that much. I care about the axebane guardian and the wall of roots, or the whatever the other wall is, not the wall of roots. Take an attack. Getting in for one. 
Okay. Finding way. Let's counterspell. Okay, so now we have four mana. We can just Arcane Answer getting back the counterspell. They are gonna pay three mana, two mana, zero mana. They're holding two mana open. Plays a lead the stampede. Darn. Wall of Roots, Shield Ball Sentinel, Overgrown Battlement. So they can cast the battlement this turn. And then they have all the mana that they need, all the colors that they need. So we're looking for um, a snap. We can get rid of the Arachi Leaf Collar. Plays an Overgrown Battlement. Okay. Now they have Shield Ball Sentinel left. Play Land. Play Sunscape Familiar. Let's Ponder. Did not find a snap, but I found a second Arcane Answer, so I can get back my counter spells. So let's keep that. That's the turn. So this is a scary position because they can shield wall just to get like anything huge. Plays a generous end that does not matter. Okay, we can cast medium mines now. Under preordain, we knew about those ones. Chancery. Let's ponder looking for a snap. Okay, I'm gonna shuffle here. I'm just going to ephemerate for the meaning of mines. Then play the chancery, picking up the planes, and I'll pass the turn. So they have a very large amount of mana. Um, they're gonna attack for five. Just gonna take it. I don't know what they're gonna give the shield wall sentinel, and I'm kind of afraid. They have more mana. So many they have lots and lots of walls. Can't really do anything about that. Let's play Meaning of Mines. Find more random lands. I'm going to cycle for some islands. Cycle again. Green Island. And my Ephemerate is going to rebound. So, getting pretty close to winning. We're going to Ephemerate the Archaeum Answer. Get back the Ephemerate. Guess we just chill on that. We have infinite... Um, I don't know. Or... Oh, if I find a snap, though. Let's go. I guess I'm going to start on Preordain. Just need a snap. Bottom both of these. Not the greatest. Play land. Play a Sunscape Familiar. And I guess I'm passing. They still have the Shield Ball Sentinel in hand. And now they have three unknowns. What could it be? What are unknowns? Four mana. Play Galvanic Alchemist. Okay, I'm gonna counterspell. So Shield Wall can get some stuff. Okay, fine. Let's see what happens here. Shield Wall is gonna get Drift probably. And then they can Drift for Reaping and then Reaping. But then I can just Ephemerate for the counterspell, flicker my two islands and counterspell the Galvanic again. We've certainly seen a lot of cards, and we have not found a snap. Okay, they got a Drift of Phantasms. Kind of as expected. They're going to Drift. Okay. Gets back Reaping the Graves. No problem. So now they're going to cast the Reaping the Graves. So my question is, do, they, do I think that they have two win conditions? So they have Reaping the Grave. They have Drift of Phantasms, Galvanic Alchemist, and Drift of Phantasms in hand. They have only a few mana. They have two mana, maybe four mana total. So they can't actually go off this turn. I'm going to Ephemerate for the Counterspell. And then draw. Ephemerate for the Archaeum Answer. And then get back Ephemerate. They land. Okay, now it's going to be easy mode. Snap that. Untap. Game Answer. Just go ahead and snap some more stuff. Snap a do. Snap that one. Okay, they scooped it up. Perfect. So we want the excludes and the negates. And probably just one of the hydroblast. Actually, nope. Get that rid of that. We want our last breath here. And that will be the deck. We want the last breath so that we can kill the walls and the negates for the card draw spells and the excludes, obviously, for their big mana creatures. Okay, snap is great. Cantrips are good. So we're going to probably go land ponder looking for a familiar. 
Second chance re is a little bit of a redundancy that's not that great in this hand. We play a caretaker. We found the familiar anyway, so I can let's just ponder and see if there's anything awesome in hand. Awesome coming up. Uh this is probably fine. So no shuffle. We have a land on top. So I probably want that land because I'm gonna have to discard the extra chancery. Maybe I don't. I get a forest. Let's ponder. I can find an exclude or something. All right, now I feel like I don't want these cards. Murmuring Mystic. Probably should have cut some number of Murmuring Mystics, actually. Because um, that's not actually very useful here. So I, I think I can just discard that. Does not really win me the game. Play an Overgrown Battlement. Nothing following that up. Play Land. Suns keep familiar. Snap the Overgrown Battlement. Set them back a lot. And then my plan is to just counterspell it. Counterspell on your battlement. Not great for you. We're looking for excludes. We can cast an exclude with one familiar. We draw Drifter Ephemerate, so I'll just take that. I'll take it. Drifter. Gonna Ephemerate. Let's yield. Ephemerate here. We find the Flicker and the Arcane Mancer, so they are snap locked on the next turn. Answery. Pick up the island. Go ahead. I'm not sure if we can actually fully snap block them. Hmm. It'll be tough. Recycle a generous ent. Probably getting another basic forest. It is not a different art this time. We play overgrown battlement. Yeah, you're uh fortunately not doing great here. We're gonna ephemerate the mole drifter, draw some cards, play a land, play our cam answer. Floating a white, grab the ephemerate, and then we will just make sure I yield here. Always ephemerate the arcane answer, back the snap, bounce this thing, tap. Let's cycle, grab an island, and preordain. I'm going to plan on just discarding the chancery. They scoop it up. Sweet. They're very kind. They said, GG's, always a pleasure. That was very nice of you. We'll see you in the next round. We're here in round four. This is a super duper keep, I think. Let's see what they're up to. I'll probably just grab... All right, looks like they're on Boros or Glitters. Probably want to go Planes now. No, that won't be able to do anything with it. All right, well, let's just get an island. Island go. Let's see if they're on Glitters or Boros. It looks like Glitters now. Okay, so got to move fast. Um, Murmuring Mystic is pretty good versus Glitters. Okay, we find an island. Let's Ponder. Snap and the Meaning of Mines are all good. I wonder if I want to just get the planes. Play the planes. Hmm. Or I could... Snap on top. Put the planes on top. Let's play the Chancery and discard the planes. That makes the most sense. That took me a long time to find that line. <laughs> so our next thing that we want to do is go Familiar and snap your Glittered creature. Then play the Murmuring Mystic. Of course they have the turn 3 Glitters. I mean, like, you have to have it. But I have the answer. We're not dead yet. And we're going to have a bunch of chumpers. Bounce this thing. Untap, untap. Damn the Murmuring Mystic. We have another one. Novice Inspector comes back down. We play another Thraven Inspector. They're inspecting hard. There's a Mirror Enforcer. There's a Ginger Brute. Makes a Ginger Brute unblockable. My turn. Okay, we're at 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're dead. We're dead if we find, if we get glittered. They have two draws to find it this turn. Find a snap. Okay. So we just have to untap, I guess. Let's see if they can just top deck it. We will be very sad. Draws a card. They tap the two mana. Scares me. Okay. Okay. What are you going to do? It's in with all the things. So it looks like a ninja here. 
are going to block and block and block. They get to Ninja at Thraven Inspector, generating a bunch of value. All right, and then we're going to Meeting of Mines. Okay, we make a bird. Their Thraven Inspector dies. They play a Springleaf Drum. Are they going to play the Thraven Inspector? No. Okay. Cycle for an island. Play the island. Know they have Thraven Inspector in hand. Let's play Archaeum Answer, trying to get back Snap. See if they have. Okay. They do have Metallic Rebuke. We're going to go ahead and snap a Mirror Enforcer. Picking some birds. Pay for the Metallic Rebuke. Get back Snap again. And attack. So once again, we're just hoping they don't have it. <laughs> That's how it goes. That's how it goes. I could have attacked with both my birds, huh? Whoops. That was a whoops. So they have Enforcer and Thraven Inspector. Maybe another Thraven Inspector in hand. Plays the Enforcer. Or Ornithopter. Yeah. Cracks a clue. They have one Thraven Inspector that I know of. Plays the Thraven Inspector. Another Thraven Inspector. So no attacks this turn. Let's cycle for an island. Play the island. Play out Archaeum Answer. Get back Snap. And I'm just going to send, well, I guess I don't really want to attack with anything. No blocks. Or no attacks. <laughs> Since we have double snap, we can get past um, one Metallic Rebuke. They Thoughtcast and find nothing. Cracks a clue. Cracks another clue. They're cantripping pretty hard. Plays a Springleaf Drum, so I've got two cards in hand. Okay, they're tapping for mana. Cracking another clue. Does not attack. I'm cycling this for lands. Grab an island. Draw. Another snap. So let's lead on Murmuring Mystic. Attack for four. So Drifter Snap Drifter is a zero mana draw two. We're going to evoke the Mold Drifter. You can cast Meaning of Mines, tapping the Mold Drifter. And. The Mancer and the Mancer. We draw, we make birds, find another familiar, snap the Mole Drifter, untap, untap. Okay, play the familiar, play Zorius Chancery, pick up the island, snap the Mole Drifter, make a bunch more birds, untap, untap. Now I just have to play around one Metallic Rebuke. They'd have to have Glitters plus Double Rebuke. They Thought Cast. Mirror Enforcer. I mean, we've got two Murmuring Mystics to, to block with. They find a Ginger Brute. So they could start pecking away with the Ginger Brutes. Another Ginger Brute. That's three damage a turn. Okay. Now we can go like snap on the Arcane Answer a couple of times to make a ton of birds. Maybe that's the play. Because we don't right now have any way to get uh, life. But we can't like afford to lose to a top deck glitters. They have one card in hand. God Pharaoh's Faithful. Okay. The Faithful. Let's start on evoking a Mole Drifter. If we find something good, that's nice. But I'm probably just going to snap and replay the Arcane Answer a couple of times. Like any ephemerate or flicker would be good. So we have three of those effects. Meaning of mines. Did not draw anything. Alright. Let's snap the arcane answer. My computer's saying that I'm gonna wake up. I'm staying up late to make a video. Okay. <laughs> they scoop it up. So we want the nature's chance and the dust to dusts. Counter spells are way too slow. I think. One arcane answer is probably too slow. So you could go no removal. Like maybe we just cut one ephemerate for one negate. Sometimes I like to not even bring in negates and stuff, but hmm. We could cut another murmuring mystic for another negate, but we're kind of the murmuring mystic deck. That's kind of how we win and do stuff. So I'm going to keep them. Okay. Once again, we have cantrips. 
have a negate. We're looking for snaps, uh, dust to dust, stuff like that. Island Springleaf Drum. I mean, uh, see the sign on Springleaf Drum. Okay, that was not what I wanted. Another island. Um, hop, hop, hop. No shuffle. Plays a Moon Circuit Hacker. Okay. Gonna ponder. Find my Dust to Dust. And a snap. No shuffle. Play the Chancery. Picking up the island. So now my hope is that... Okay, we're going to discard an island. My hope is that we can snap and dust them. But I'm not sure that's going to be the case. Play all the glitters. It's in. Okay. So hopefully they don't have a dispel. Okay. Moment of truth. Snap. Oh, it just straight up resolved. Okay. We're going to go ahead and go dust to dust. Get rid of those ones. And preordain. Don't need these. Bottom and bottom. So this next turn we have end step negate or end step meaning mines. Or negate or end step meaning mines, I mean. But I'm going to preordain looking for a blocker. We find a snap and an arcane answer. So that's probably fine. Land. Yes, I'm gonna snap this now. No response. Okay, cast meaning mines. Okay, next turn we can go faithful plus arcane answer for the dust to dust. They have another land, novice inspector. Now they're probably gonna try to ninja in their creature. Play the creature, no ninja. Play my land. Play. Familiar into Archaea Mancer for the Dust. Back, or best, maybe the Snap. I don't need the Dust to Dust. So if they suit up a creature, I'm probably just going to chump with the Archaea Mancer and then block the other one with the Familiar. And then next turn I can go Faithful, Snap, or Revealed. Okay, plays a Mirror Enforcer. That would have been a reason to pick up the Dust to Dust. Cast of one mind, tapping the Mirror Enforcer. All right, we have no creatures that I care about in the graveyard. Faithful, snap the Mirror Enforcer. Could have snapped the Game Answer, but that wouldn't have gotten me the Dust Dust this turn. So let's just cast the Lorien Revealed. We gain some life. Uh, let's play Chancery and pick up the Island and pass. Then in a couple of turns, I'm going to block with the Arcane Answer, and then I'm going to get back Probably Lorien revealed. Okay, they can play the Mirror Enforcer again. Yep. Ginger Brute. One card in hand. All that glitters on the Ginger Brute. We have the Negate. And then I'll cycle for an island. They scoop it up. My Singleton Negate after all the cantrips. Feels good. <laughs> See you in round five. Round five versus Venga. Uh, we have turn one, Faithful, so that's fine. We have Faithful into Ponder. We can Faithful and then play Sunscape Familiar. All sorts of things. So if they're a Counterspell deck, we'll play the Chancery turn two. If they're not, we'll play the Ponder. Maybe just go from there anyway. Faithful go. I think that Ponder and Preordain, they really increase the power level of Faithful. They're playing a Thraven Inspector, so I don't know what that means yet. We're going to play the Chancery and pick up the Plains. Could just be Glitters again, but it could also be Boral Synth, and in that case, I don't know if I want to run out the Familiar right away. Another Thraven Inspector. Okay, and no land. No land probably means Glitters. Okay, it is Glitters. All right, um, play the land and pass. So I have Counterspell, so I can counter a Glitter, um, or I can just end step the Meeting of Minds. I'm going to get in for two. We will block. Yep. No Ninja, okay. Seems to be Jeskai. Let's Meeting of Minds. Tap this, and then cast with all this mana. Hmm. All right, so I have Familiar... And then I can Ephemerate to keep the Familiar alive, and I can also end step the Meeting of Minds. Let's see what they're up to. 
feel like they probably have a Galvanic. But that's just me doom, doom saying, I guess. Cracks a clue. Okay. Plays a land. Springleaf drum. Two mana available. Three mana actually available. Okay, Mirror Enforcer costs one mana. Play a Gear Seeker Serpent. So they're on the Monsters version of the list. Plays a Glinthawk. All right, let's just Meeting of Minds. Oops, I don't want to do that. Because they can attack then with the three minute Spectre. I don't like that. All right, now I can Meeting of Minds. Draw. Gain some life. Find an Arc uh, Archaeomancer and a Mole Drifter. So I think this is a Drifter Ephemerate moment. Uh, let's evoke the Mole Drifter. I'm still just looking for another um, blue source, or I'm also happy to find a snap here. Because then I can snap this Gear Seeker. Really take them off a lot of stuff. If I don't find a snap or a blue source, I have to ponder. There's a snap. Play the Chancery. Okay, we're going to pick up the uh, planes. Snap on the Gear Seeker Serpent. And then I'm going to go Faithful. Play Arcane Answer. Arcane Answer is going to get back Meeting of Minds. I could get back Snap. Still going to get back Meeting of Minds. Meeting of Minds puts me really far ahead on cards. I'm going to get rid of the Chancery here. I feel like that's probably the worst land in my hand. It's too slow. Synthesizer. Okay. Sure. Finds a Glenhawk, so they can play the Glenhawk off the Ancient Den. And then they can pick up the Synthesizer again. Should yield to this so they don't have to keep clicking through it. Uh, Gear Seeker Serpent. So they're going to play a Serpent. Then they still have the one in hand. There's the Gear Seeker. Any attacks? They're going to send with their bird. Yeah, I don't want to trade my Muldrifter for the bird. Not yet, anyway. We're going to draw some cards. And Murmuring Mystic is like really good on this board state, it looks like. Ephemerate the Arcane Answer. Back the Ephemerate. They don't have any removal, it appears. All right. Um, Ephemerate. Get back the Snap. Snap the Gear Seeker. And then I'm going to go ahead and get an Island. With the uh, Ash Barons, I think. I could also ponder and just make use of my cantrips. Seems fine. Let's play faithful. Ponder. We're gaining millions of billions of life. Find the ghosty flicker, so that's pretty good. Um, don't need the island. Don't need the preordain. No shuffle. Can cycle. Grabbing the island. Play the arcane answer. Grabbing the snap. And then right now we have infinite snaps. But snapping all their stuff doesn't do that much at the moment. So we can just pass. And we need to just find the murmuring mystic, make a bunch of birds, and attack them. There's a synthesizer, sure. No worries. They find a thought cast off the synthesizer. They're gonna cast the thought cast, going to eight cards in hand. Plays a great furnace and a frog mite. Okay, podcast again. So no gear seekers this turn. Gear enforcer, sure. What am I counting? What am I doing here? I don't, I don't care about their attacks. I actually appreciate it that they're attacking because I can attack them back. I'm gaining so much life. Like I'm back to twenty nine. Oh no, I'm at twenty nine. All right, let's ephemerate. Back the ephemerate. Island and attack you. So I guess preordains maybe better or ponder first. Ponder first to look at, at the most cards. We're gonna look at four cards with this ponder. Up to four cards, I mean. We look at three cards and then we draw a random blank, but we find the murmuring mystic anyway. Alright. So now we win, I think. No shuffle. Play the Murmuring Mystic. Okay. Now I just have to execute. Snap the Mirror Enforcer. Let's ephemerate the Arcane Answer. Maintaining my um, Counterspell this way. Like the Snap. Snap the Frogmite. 
I should probably start snapping my faithfuls actually. Tap. It's flicker. All right, my plan is to um, snap all the faithfuls, but it's gonna take me a while because of these triggers. So I'll tell you when I'm done. It's 1938 on clock. Snap. Okay, it took me an entire minute to snap my faithfuls. Jeez. Da -da -da. Then I'm gonna preordain. Bottom this. I think I bottom the mortuary mire too. Don't need it right now. Let's play out another familiar, finally. And then ephemerate this wool drifter. Okay. Fine for me. We're gonna get rid of the chancery and the planes. Opponent plays a frog mine. Mirror enforcer. Lindhawk. I think I'm gonna counterspell the synthesizer on the way down. Just to stop their value. But I mean I only have one more Glenhawk in the deck. Maybe Gingerbrute can get countered. It doesn't. None of this really matters. Finds a Springleaf Drum. Springleaf Drum. Okay. I have, I have 13 power in the air right now. So end step, I can just flicker around, snap all their Glenhawks, and kill them. I mean, in paper, you're just like, I have infinite birds and infinite counters. Let's flicker. 14 power. Rate of the bird. Oh. Uh, forgot that they can crack the ginger brute to gain some life. They're probably gonna do that. Magic Online is chugging hard. In 16 power. Okay, I snapped all their flyers. I snapped their mirror enforcer. Now I'm just going to flicker, get back the meaning of mines. I don't really care if they ginger brute. I have plenty of power. That's the meaning of mines. And that should be enough. We even even found another Mystic. They have to discard three cards to hand size. We still have 15 minutes left, so there's plenty of time. And I'll just restart the application midway. Ephemerate. Making more birds. We have 24 or 5, 25 power in the air that I can see. Ephemerate in the birds. As you can tell, this deck goes hard. You make a bunch of birds. And we will attack. All of these cards, this card, all of these cards, and this one birdie over here. <laughs> all right, do you want to crack your ginger brute? Guess not. Nice. Okay, step one is to restart the application. Step two is the sideboard. We are finally back, bringing in the nature's chance, the dust to dusts, and then cutting the counter spells. So we can cut one more thing. I think I'm going to go for the Ephemerate and the Arcane Answer again. Could just be the Murmuring Mystic. I want the Negate. Mystic did win the game for us. It was pretty nice. There's not that much that I care to negate other than exactly the Glitters. And otherwise I want to just use my cards to overpower my opponent. Can't keep this hand. This hand is sick. Keep. Um, we're going to put back, what do we put back? I want to say it's going to be the familiar. They could bring in Pyros. Go land, Chancery, land, Dust of Dust. Player came answer for Dust of Dust. Land, pass the turn. I shouldn't have played out the planes, that was stupid. Because that shows them what I'm up to. Is it Ginger Brute? All right. No second land. They probably will have the second land post board. Or post uh, combat. Plays a Springleaf Drum. Play the Chancery. I'll pass the turn. Picking up the planes. Am I dead? Do you have it? These are the tough questions. Plays a Glinthawk. They can pick up the. Okay, they're picking up the Springleaf Drum. Plays the Springleaf Drum. Gets in. Is a land. Um, I can play Faithful, Snap, Dust to Dust, or just Dust to Dust. Killing this one and this one. Getting rid of all of your white sources. No Counterspell, that's good. They crack the clue. Plays a Springleaf Drum. Plays a Silver Bluff Bridge. It's in. Okay. 
plays a frog mite and a frog mite. All right, we're gonna go faithful land, nap a frog, untap, untap. We're gonna play Arcane Answer, grabbing that dust dust. Then I think I'm gonna dust dust the ginger brute and the spring leaf drum and see what happens. Nothing. Okay. Get rid of your white sources and your ginger brute. They're gonna gain three life. Okay. Let's ponder. Um this might be good enough, but Dominator Cleric doesn't do anything right now. Familiar doesn't do anything. Mortuary Mire doesn't do anything, so I have to shuffle. I can play land into another faithful. And then next turn I can snap my Arcane Answer, replay it, and dust the dust again. I mean that they don't have any other way to deal with it. But they do have a hawk. And if they draw white source plus glitters, that hawk is scary. Plays a mirror enforcer. Alright. It's in for two. Play Sunscape Familiar. Let's snap the Arcane Answer. Tap untap. Play the island. Play the Arcane Answer. Get back to Dust Dust. And then I'm going to get rid of your blue source and your big creature. All right, your turn. They're still attacking for two, so I need some way to draw cards. Plays a blue source. It's in for two. Okay. Card draw. Broker's Hideout. So we get one of that life back. Any Mold Drifter. Um, we have Medium Minds, Lauren Revealed, all of these cards, all of these cards. Well, not the Burn Mystic. Arcane Answer would draw cards. Relic of Progenitus. They probably should crack that right now. They're just going to get in for two. Play Sunscape. Hanging out, getting beaten down by a 2 2. We have plenty of turns to draw, but doesn't look like we're doing pretty hot. Okay, okay. Podcast is really solid for them. They find the white source. So another Dust to Dust would be pretty good for me. I could dust the white source on the relic. Ugh. Cycle for an island. I think we're going to lose this one. But I have hope. I have hope. All I got to do is rip a Mold Drifter. Come on, Mold Drifter. Believe. Believe in yourself. We get rid of the Ash Barons. Oh, no. Made all of our land drops. They have it. It's a 10-10. My last possible turn. We draw an Ephemerate, and that doesn't win. We can try. And they're going to exile my graveyard, so GG. GG. We are pretty far away. So let's bring back in the Arcane Mancer. Cut the Murmuring Mystic. Do I want to cut the Negate or the Cleric? No, I think they're both fine. Maybe I do want to cut the Cleric. Hmm. I think I'm just going to keep it the way it is. We would like to play first. All right, I've got cantrips. I've got a Sunsky Familiar in hand. One is probably going to bring in relics and stuff. They keep seven as well. I'm looking for lands. Chancery is the best land. Broker's Hideout is good. Okay, take the chant on top and the Broker's Hideout on top. No shuffle. Then we're going to draw the chant, play the Broker's Hideout for a Plains, and then Preordain looking for more lands. You play an Ancient Den and a Thraven Inspector. Gonna go Broker's Hideout, grab in the planes, and Preordain. Snap and an island. I'll top both. The opponent goes Great Furnace. Frogmite. Okay, it's in for two. Or one, I mean. We're gonna go Sunscape Familiar. Snap the Frogmite. They have a Pyroblast. Galvanic, okay, on tap. Blow up your white source. They have two artifacts in play. Cannot currently cast a Frogmite. They play a Synthesizer. Find a Mirror Enforcer that they can't cast. Sweet. Looking for lands and spells. Okay, I find Mortuary Mard to get back to Sunscape Familiar. Play the Preordain. Put the Muldrifter on top. Um. So here's what I want to do. My plan is to go 
familiar this turn and then arcane answer for the nature's champ blow up their land so i think i want to bottom the mold drifter so that i can draw a land play this they have a galvanic blast hmm. okay still no lands though um play the arcane answer getting back the nature's chant they play out the frogmite the land gonna blow up their land pass the turn in it for two okay looking for a land find a loring revealed which is basically a land okay cycle so do i want the floodplain i think so play the floodplain play the faithful oops oh well next turn i can play the moldrifter assuming they don't have a land into a pyroblast there's an ancient den there's a frog mite Okay, for zero mana, no attacks, great. There's a Glenhawk picking up the Synthesizer. Hmm, picks up the Frogmite, okay. I'm going to use my Snap here to evoke this Muldrifter and Snap it for extra mana, for extra resources here. Maybe that's not the wisest decision, but none of their creatures here have... Uh, <clears throat> have trample are unblockable either snap this thing tap on tap okay we're gonna ponder we're looking for dust to dust find a sunscape familiar and i can pre in and negate okay put all this on top no shuffle lay out the ash barons slam the sunscape familiar Next turn, we can play Bump Bump Bump, play Mermaid Mystic, and then Preordain, have Negate available, and then probably lock up the game. But we do have to win in 8 minutes and 20 seconds. The only thing they can currently attack with that won't get blocked is the Glenhawk. They're attacking with just the Glenhawk again. Remember last time we got kind of destroyed by that Glenhawk? Wrecked us. Murmuring Mystic. We're going to cast the Preordain. It was really the Relic that got me there, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, so we have negate on top. We know about that. Don't think there's anything I want other than negate. I'll take the island for later. Pass the turn. Plays a relic. We're gonna negate and just F6. So now they can't attack with the Glenhawk. We're gonna play the Mold Drifter, and then let's see what we draw. Faithful with the faithful, the island. Pass the turn. I mean, I'm going to start attacking with the Mold Drifter most likely. Because if I can find a way to get it back, then I can just. If I can like find a Chancery, I can pick it up with the Mortuary Mire. Play Mirror Enforcer so that I can block with the Mermaid Mystic. I'm going to play my Island. Attack you for two. No blocks from them. Okay. We ran out of stuff to do again. They have not cracked their clue, which is odd. They get in for four. A block. Hmm. I'm gonna cycle for an island. For the island. That's the turn. I should probably still be attacking with the mole drifter. Play another land. No attacks. Find another familiar. Attack with the mole drifter. Seven minutes on clock. They're at sixteen now. They cracked the clue finally. Seven cards in hand. Six cards in hand. Okay. Is a three minute specter. I assume they're going to crack the clue again. Yep. Okay. They go to six cards in hand. Find a snap. Great. I'm going to attack with the Mold Drifter. I think it's probably better actually to snap and replay the Arcane Answer for the Lorien Revealed because that's three cards. Snap the Mancer. Make a bunch of life and a bird. Play the Arcane Answer. We get back the Lorien Revealed. Let's see what these three cards can get us. Hopefully something good. Cast the Lorien Revealed. So many triggers. Now I'm watching the clock like a hawk. <laughs> Draw three. And uh can evoke a drifter. Oh, I forgot that I had that extra mana, darn. Uh flicker, drifter, and arcane answer. And they scoop it up. Yes! Best murmuring nymphistic dick blah, deck. 
<laughs> Sorry, that was the best murmuring mystic deck in the format. I fumbled my words a little bit. You can hear what you want to hear. <laughs> All right. So I did enjoy playing this deck. I thought it was really awesome. Maybe you could not play the excludes, but man, it's so sweet spitting out birds and crushing our opponents. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next video.